Hey, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today we're talking about order of operations. Order of operations tells us about the hierarchy of the operations we use in arithmetic. So here's how it works. Whenever you're doing arithmetic, there's an order in which you do the operations to make sure you get the right answer. Parentheses are the first thing you do. Anything in parentheses, you calculate that first. Then you do exponents. Whatever has an exponent, you calculate that. Then you do multiplication and division from left to right. And then finally, you do addition and subtraction from left to right. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say we have 11 minus 4 divided by 2 times 5 plus 3. Now, if you don't use order of operations, you might get a completely different answer here. That's why it's so important. So the first thing we're going to do is look and see, do we have anything in parentheses? No, so we don't have to worry about that. Do we have any exponents? No, no exponents. So now we're just going to do multiplication and division from left to right. So the first thing I come to then is 4 divided by 2. So this becomes 11 minus 4 divided by 2 is just 2. And then I'm still just going to leave everything as it is. 2 times 5 plus 3. OK, so now I'm still doing multiplication and division from left to right. So here we go. The next thing I have left to right is this multiplication here. So this becomes 11 minus 2 times 5 is 10. And then I still have my plus 3 here at the end. OK, so now I just have addition and subtraction, and I'm going to do them left to right. 11 minus 10 is 1. And then I still have my plus 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. So 11 minus 4 divided by 2 times 5 plus 3 is really just equal to 4. If you don't use order of operations, you can very easily get a different answer, and it won't be the correct one. So let's look at another example. Let's say we have 5 cubed minus 4 times 1 plus 2, and that whole thing is squared. So again, use order of operations. The first thing you want to do is simplify anything inside of the parentheses. OK, so don't worry about what's outside the parentheses. Just simplify what's inside of them. So I'm going to leave my 5 cubed as it is, minus 4. Now, parentheses here are also just being used as another form of multiplication. So I'm just going to keep them, and I'm going to keep the squared. But I want to simplify what's inside of them. 1 plus 2 is 3. OK, so now we can go on to the next thing, which is exponents. So 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. Minus 4 times, I'm still going to leave my multiplication alone. 3 squared is 9. OK, so now we go down to multiplication and division from left to right. All I have is this one multiplication here, 125 minus 4 times 9 is 36. OK, and now we do addition and subtraction from left to right. We just have some subtraction here. 125 minus 36 is 89. So you can see, if you don't follow order of operations, it's hard to know what answer you might get. So be sure that you do it every time. And that's how you use order of operations. Thanks for learning with me today. If you want to know more about any of the topics we discussed, click on the links. And if you liked our videos, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any specific requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.